he basically told me when he discharged me that I was completely fused together and that my only other option was to be fused all the way up. And that's not where I want to go. You're not going to like me. <laughs> You're not going to like me, Mr. Brown. <laughs> I like you. Why don't you like me? Come on. Uh, so what happened to your neck? Looks like you had a four-level fusion at some point. Yes, I went to Barrows. I had neck problems for years, and then I got into an accident. Uh, semi hit us Ooh. and and uh, all that legal stuff is over with. Uh, it was an illegal alien that hit me in a semi truck. Oh, god! And uh, I've been everything's been settled, which wasn't much of a settlement because you can't squeeze blood out of a rock. Right. But I, when I went to uh, Barrows to Dr. Tulamani. Uh, he seemed to think that uh, fusion in three through seven would help. Well, it hasn't helped and it hasn't eliminated the pain and the muscle spasms and everything that why I went in there for the first place. When did so, you have surgery? About six or seven years ago. When's the last time you saw Dr. Tulamani? After I was, uh, after I was discharged from him, I came in, and uh, they would check on me once in a while, and then. I never did go back. I wasn't happy with the results. He basically told me when he discharged me that I was completely fused together and that my only other option was to be fused all the way up. And that's not where I want to go. You're not going to like me. <laughs> You're not going to like me, Mr. Brown. <laughs> I like you. Why don't you like me? Come on. Um, I'm a, I'm worried about you. Can I can I show you why? Yeah. So let me show you your MRI. Okay, well, we see the old surgery. This is your C2. Here's three, four, five, six, seven. They're all fused together with a plate. I know you don't like the way it turned out, but it actually looks technically perfect. Everything's in good orientation and the curve is right and these spacers are good. So it's what the classic, uh, everything's good except for the result. You know what I mean? But technically it looks good. What's got me concerned is that this MRI, which is from January of this year, six years after the surgery, you've got some swelling in the spinal cord above the surgery. And on the x-rays that you had, we can see movement of your C2. This is the back of your C3, and this is the back of your C2, and this should be back here. So there's some subluxation there where C2 is unsta unstable on C3. Okay. The only way to treat instability is fusion. 
And when you were saying, I don't want to have another surgery, the only way to get a fusion is to have surgery. That's why I say, I like you, but I don't think you're going to like me because there's just no other way to handle this. Now it's going to get, it's going to get even worse. You ready? The only place in this town, Phoenix, where you and I both are, the only place I would go for that surgery is back to Barrow, <laughs> the place you don't like. So I'm now recommending, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> don't hang up. Do not hang up. I want to talk to you. <laughs> so I'm now <laughs> recommending that you go get the surgery you don't want from the guy you don't like. But there's th that's there's no other way to handle this from from my point of view. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's not that I'm against surgery, and it's not that I don't like the doctor. I'm just not satisfied with the results. Right. I've been hearing stuff about this doctor Bonatti that he can fix stuff without fusion. No, and not not this. Not not this. But that will lock me up, right? Yeah, It'll it will. But the reason you got a bad result last time was that you were unstable above. Your bad result happened not because they did too little fuse, too much fusion. It actually happened because they did too little. And I'm not faulting them. I would have done exactly what they did. But uh, you actually need more. And they're going to have to do that from the back of the neck. And that will lock me up. Well, you're already locked up. You're already locked up and you're um, you'll still have some movement of the. You will lose some movement at the top of the neck, but that movement is what's causing your pain. So you you want to lose that movement. What about turning right to left? Well, are you married? Yep. Well, you don't need to say no anyway. <laughs> you just. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to say yes. You'll still be able to say yes, no problem, but your no is not going to be that good. You better teach her some hand signals before you have surgery. <laughs> well, I've talked to I talked to a doctor Strong Song or something like that. They call him Dr. T. Oh yeah, yeah. And he was telling me if I got the surgery that I would be completely locked up. And that my quality of life would be greatly diminished. Uh, I wouldn't, I don't, he's not someone with experience in this area. So honestly, I wouldn't, I mean, he's a really good guy and a really good doctor for some things, but not this. So I, I would not uh, be too concerned about his opinion. Okay. Uh I really don't know what to say. I thought that there might be a different, some kind of a different outcome. I don't want to lose complete mobility in my neck. I mean, I think the way to think about it is your options are live with the pain you have or lose some mobility and get more comfortable. One thing to factor into this is you're not your neck is unstable and there's a risk of doing additional damage. We already see some damage in your spinal cord. There's a significant risk of things getting a lot worse. So you're not 
safe and stable as you are. I think as a bare minimum, you should go back and see Dr. Tuliami, Tuli, whatever, however you say his name, and and see what he says to you. Right, because he was telling me that he didn't want when he did the original surgery, he didn't want to go that high because he said my quality of life would be greatly diminished. Yeah, he was right. But let me ask you something. How's your quality of life right now? Painful. There you go. I mean, what we're trying to do is get you better. So I, you, you got to think about what is and not what could have been. And what is, is you're unstable at C2, 3. And the standard treatment for that would be to get stabilized. When they did that, would they fuse two and three together? Yeah, it goes from the back and they would put a screw through the joint and that's what fixates it. Do they do that minimally evasive with those little blocks or is it back to the a continuation not, of the it's not it's it's not tremendously invasive, but it's also not really truly minimally invasive. Right. And if I let it go, is there a danger of me becoming paralyzed or something like that? Yeah, for sure. Okay. And you people wouldn't do that type of surgery. The only place in town I would go for that uh, is, uh, to be honest, if I was still in practice, I would have done it for you. But me and them were pretty much the only guys who do that that I know of. There right. may be others that I don't know, but I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know some of the young guys, but I, there's nobody else I would feel comfortable referring you to. Right. Uh, well, so you don't think that Benati or somebody like that can go in there and ma wave a magic wand and fix this thing? Benati's really good for some things, but not, not this in any way. No, I would never go to him for this. Okay. Well, you're right. I don't like what I hear, but it, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, sir. I wish I had something better for you, but it, you're so right. It is what it is. Let me know what happens, okay? Okay, I'll do that. All right. Be good. Okay, thank you. Bye.